happened in the Ukraine and Crimea area. I'm so so angry, and I hope I hope Putin and Russia they will stop what they are doing right now because occupy, occupation is not good and violence it doesn't work in any country. I hope Ukraine will find their freedom. I'm so I'm so sad for them. I feel like the Russians need to stop interfering with foreign politics. It's not their place to get involved, and they're just causing more problems than they're solving. Um, I'm, I'm, I have good friends in Berlin, which are Ukrainian people, which are um, uh, sympathizers of uh, the protest which was happening, and I'm afraid of, of the war which is, which is close uh, in front of us. So all over the world, people should uh, help to Ukraine in that situation to avoid uh, some bigger issues not to happen. We invite all the world people to help the Ukraine. At Krim, yeah. right, and there are like 80 dead. So <laughs> the, we know the numbers and we think it's not safe to go there. Okay, and thanks. I hope it comes out the best because as I'm from Croatia, I don't want to see another war and one person dead is just too much. But in this way we didn't have so much contact, I guess, to really understand the issues and what's underlined, you know, to underline the Ukrainian protests. But I found so much similarities just to visually and the, about the solidarity. I think it became, it, not because of the connection, but it's, 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 the, it's the outcome and the consequence of our timing. You know, today's revolution looks similar, not because of we are related, but I think the f biggest need that it should be related and because to share the good side of the experience. Well, I think it's, it's the kind of thing that Putin likes to do. He likes to show his force, right? And if there's any reaction, it will go badly. That's the only, that's the only thing I can say. Like, it's, it's pretty scary.